Let's quickly talk about how to open a First Citizens business account. First Citizens is a great bank, and if you happen to be in the geography, it covers. And in today's conversation, I want to talk to you about the many benefits that come with a First Citizens business account. So I want to first, I want you to consider the business checking accounts types that you have with First Citizens. So you need to fund your fit with all the multiple business checking options because they have four actually. They have a very simply named, they have business banking, business banking one, business banking two, and business banking three. That's what we love about the First Citizens. Very simple, straight to the point, but very professional. So let's first talk about the business banking. That's the basic, uh, the most basic business checking accounts at First Citizens. So this is the monthly maintenance fee here is, is inexistent. There are, there's none. This is ideal for businesses just getting started. So if you're a startup or you, you are like, let's say you are a slow growing small business, you want to consider the First Citizens business banking account. And uh, so there, th this is like, there is no monthly maintenance fee when enrolled in paperless statements. You have up to 100, 100 free transactions per month and you have $5,000 cash processing each month at no charge. Okay, this is kind of cool. By the way, welcome back to the show. It's really a pleasure to have you here to have a convo, quick convo with you about the First Citizens business accounts. So then, you, you, so besides you have uh, besides the business banking, you will, you have the business banking one account. So here, the monthly maintenance fee goes from twenty five dollars all the way to uh, I mean, it goes from zero dollars to twenty five dollars. It really depends on uh, the kind of configuration you have, and uh, so this is great for uh, let's say growing businesses that need flexibility. So here you have no monthly maintenance fee with an active First Citizens Merchant Services account or a $25,000 average daily ledger balance. There is no statement fee when enrolled in paperless statements, up to 250 free transactions per month. You have $10,000 cash processing each month at no charge. And the cool thing about this, this plan is that this account is that you can customize your plan by adding one discounted treasury management product. This could be remote deposit capture with a free scanner. You can have EDI reporting or fraud protection with ACH positive pay. You can have check positive pay or reverse positive pay. So it's it, bottom line here is that it just helps to build a relationship with first citizens if you are trying to avoid paying uh, monthly maintenance fees. Then you have the third, the third account here. You have the business banking too. So here, the maximum monthly maintenance fee is fifty dollars. But you can waive it. You can actually. There are we have clients. We have business clients who pay no fee at all. Okay, and so this business banking too is perfect for practices and firms. So I'm talking about accounting practices, legal practices, consulting practices, and what have you. So here. You have no monthly maintenance fee with an active First Citizens Merchant Services account or a $50,000 average daily ledger balance. No statement fee when enrolled in paperless statement. So overall, when you think about uh, First Citizens, I want you to really remember never like you want to enroll necessarily in paperless statements. So if you have that, then they're fine because they are rewarding you. The bank is rewarding you for actually lowering their uh, admin costs. Okay. So enroll in paperless statements. As soon as you open an account, we open a ch checking account or savings accounts for, I mean, checking accounts, or savings account with first citizens. We're speaking here about the business side of things though. Okay. And with this account, the business banking too, you have up to 500 free transactions per month. You have $15,000 cash processing each month at no charge. You can customize your plan by adding again some of the treasury management products that I just spoke about before. By the way, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We're having a conversation about how to open a first citizen's business account. And the fourth, the fourth uh, account type that we have with first citizens is called the business banking three. Here, the, uh, the monthly maintenance fees can go all the way to $75. And, uh, but the, you can waive it, not a problem. And so this is a, a package that can be customized to meet your needs. Okay. So what you want to do is if you're interested in this sort of a account, you want to talk first with the first citizens uh, rep and ask all questions. And, uh, before you open this account and there is no monthly maintenance fee with an active first citizens merchant services account or $75,000 average daily ledger balance and no statement fee when enrolled in paperless statement. You have up to 750 free transactions per month 
and you have 20,000 cash processing each month at no charge. So this is kind of cool. And the, the same process, the same process applies here. You can customize your plan by adding up to three discounted treasury management products. So I just gave you all the list before. So yeah. Now let me give you the the, com the comparative analysis so you have a clear idea so let's let's have a clear idea of uh, what we're talking about so what i want you I, I want you to look on the screen right now okay so you can see here that we have all the four account types all the four business account types you have the business banking business banking one business banking two and business banking three so you can see that in terms of features you, for business banking you have essential checking for business uh, banking one, you have moderate checking, moderate activity, if you will. Business banking two, moderate activity also. And business banking three, you have frequent activity. So business banking three is really cool. If you have a high volume of transactions every month, you have a uh, complex needs, complex business banking needs. You know, you have uh, you have an entire team that deals with uh, your banking activities. You have a uh, complex treasury management uh, needs. This is the kind of a uh, business banking three type of account that you need and uh, first citizens has the resources and the the resources the acumen and the hats to sort of accompany you in that regard and in terms of uh, you can see in terms of uh, the uh, the monthly fee you can see the the the, the range all the way to $75 so it goes for, it goes by $25 increments from $0 with the business banking to $25 business banking one to $50 banking two and $75 banking three. But again, I want to say that those fees are waivable. If you, for example, if you just enroll in paperless statements to start with, okay. And the minimum, the minimum uh, amount to open a business account at first citizens is $100, regardless of the accounts you want to be considered for. Okay. And, uh, one thing I want to say also is that you have a certain level of processing item in terms of fees you have, uh, for business banking, 100, Business banking one, 250. Business banking two, 500. And business banking three, you have $750, uh, 50 items, okay? But overall, again, one, one thing I want to say here is that be careful not to use, uh, to actually withdraw money in a non first citizen's ATM because there are costs. It's $250 per, per occurrence. So, and this could add up real, real fast. One thing we love about the uh, first citizens is that in the last few years they have they have actually invested a lot in anything digital. So if you are going to be a business customer at First Citizens, you want to really avail yourself of their digital banking, uh, I would say, capabilities because they have a digital banking platform out there that's very solid. And we're speaking about not only uh, having a lot of stuff online, you can do remote banking, but you can also uh, use their app. So this is really, really cool. So you can manage your businesses online, so you can view account transactions, balances, and monthly statements anywhere from any device. You can create user account and set permissions for daily spending limits and approval requirements. You can keep your money safe by using alerts, notifications, and uh, card management tools. What we love about the uh, the card management tools that the first citizens has uh, rolled out in the last three to five years is that it applies across the board so if you are in the geography that first citizens cover if, if, if you're in that geography that they cover you are able to avail yourself of those uh, capabilities and uh, it's one of those things where first citizens is constantly improving they're constantly adding new tools and new uh, functionalities it's just fantastic you are able to move money you can transfer money and make payments you can transfer money and make loan and credit card payments from the convenience of your device. You can pay employees and vendors or draft your customers securely with ACH and wire services. You can pay bills, you can pay bills with view scheduled payments and see your history. So this is really cool. By the way, I want to quickly remind you once again of uh, today's topic. I'm explaining to you how to open a first citizens business account. And you also have, so with this digital banking experience, that you actually uh, have at First Citizens. You are able to protect your business with advanced fraud services. You can review and approve ACH transactions before they post. You can protect against uh, check fraud and receive alerts for suspicious, suspicious check payments. 
you can get notified whenever a check posts to your account and have the opportunity to pay or return it. And this is kind of cool. So you have the mobile option also. So you can access everything from your mobile device. You can, you can log in quickly with the Face ID, Touch ID, or your secured four-digit passcode. The Face ID and Touch ID sort of features are great. I mean, those, those are really uh, innovations that First Citizens has uh, actually rolled out in the last uh, few months and years. It's just fantastic. You can deposit checks from uh, the office or on the go, and you can receive automatic alerts to monitor your account and uh, approve transactions from your phone. So I just explained to you the four primary types of business checking accounts at First Citizens. Now let's quickly go through the business savings account at First Citizens. So if you if you happen to, like, like, if you love First Citizens and being part of the whole program of uh, establishing credit or establishing business credit or establishing business a business banking relationship with uh, First Citizens, it really helps to uh, to open the more accounts you open, the better. It really helps to open more than one business account because this will help you build a strong foundation in terms of relationship and you can parlay that strength that foundation strength into a business credit card at first citizens okay so that's the goal or a business loan or a business line of credit okay so when we think about business savings account at uh, first citizens you have three types you have business savings account the traditional business savings account you have uh, the premium money market savings, and you, you also have a business CD, so you have business CDs. So when it comes to business savings account, you are able to uh, tap into an account type where you, you have low minimum opening deposits, you have access to online and mobile banking. For premium money market savings, you are able to uh, transfer uh, whatever uh, excess cash that your business is generating into this sort of short-term uh, savings uh, products, okay? You have, uh, tiered interest rates here you have low monthly maintenance fees you have access to online and mobile banking and you also have business certificates of deposits so here this is a, this program allows you to earn a guaranteed fixed interest rates the cool thing is that you have a you have a constellation of programs a constellation of products that are coming with uh, this product so a uh, constellation of products that come with this program you have competitive fixed interest rates you have terms that fit your needs and no monthly maintenance fees so Overall, if you if your business is generating, it's if your business is uh, cash flow healthy, and you are generating on a consistent basis excess cash uh, cash cash flow, you know. In other words, you analyze every month. You have your cash inflows or way more than your cash outflows. It might help to put some extra cash into a business savings account at First Citizens. If you are trying to build a relationship with the bank, and you are also trying to buttress your liquidity status. Let me give you a, an idea about the paperwork. So if you are interested in opening a First Citizens business account, you have to think about a few things that you need to uh, to provide. So personal identification. So businesses with multiple owners typically need to include personal details and identification for every owner with 25% or more ownership in the business, okay? And this is what uh, First Citizens has across the board. So if you own, like, if, let's say if you own more than 25%, you gotta really include a government issued photo identification, such as the driver's license or passports, okay? A home mailing address, personal email and phone number, date of birth, and your social security number. You need to provide also your employer identification number. So it's uh, if you do have it, though, but uh, First Citizens requires it. So you got to provide that along with any corresponding documents from the IRS. Now, if you are a sole proprietor and single member LLC, you may be able to use your social security number, even though, you know, we recommend actually having an EIN also if you are a single member LLC. And uh, first, like First Citizens will ask for your business details. So things like, like, you know, what kind of a business entity type you are? Are you a sole proprietorship? Are you are you an LLC? Are you a partnership or are you a corporation? And you have to disclose the industry you are in and or the, the type of business you are trying to operate. And uh, first, citizens will also want to see the organizing documents and agreements. 
things like uh, articles of an organization, articles of uh, incorporation. Okay, it depends on the business type. Though. So if you have corporations, you need to provide articles of incorporation, corporate bylaws, business license. And when we talk about corporation, we're speaking about C corporation and S corporation. For ALCs, you need to provide articles of organization, ALC operating agreements, business license. For partnerships, you have partnership agreement, business name registration certificate, business license, state certificate of partnership. And uh, for so for a sole proprietorship, the business name registration certificate and business license. In some cases that you have to think, yeah, you have to think about those elements. In some cases, first citizens will ask you for, uh, let's say they'll ask you for your certificate of good standing. In terms of opening deposit, it's $100 across the board, $100. Here is the approach I want you to take right now. And we're going to close to this conversation. So if you, the exact documents, I want to give you the, the checklist, what you need to open a first citizen's business bank account. So the exact documents and information needed to open the, those accounts will vary by location. So if you are, let's say from one first citizen's branch to another, they might have uh, some, like there, there could be, there could be, there could be some uh, slight variations so please double check but overall well they will ask you for business inf for personal information and the business information and the business documentation so this is the trifecta i want you to really think about business like personal information business information and business documentation so for personal information you got to think about a government issue photo id a home mailing address personal phone number personal email date of birth social security number or ITIN for that matter. That's for the personal information part of things. What about the business information? You might be asked to provide your EIN, your employer identification number, the business name, the trade name or DBA if applicable. Okay, trade DBA is doing business as, this could be uh, the case if you are a sole proprietorship or you are a single member LLC and you have a name that is different from the name that you get, like your own name. Be ready to provide a business address and phone number, business entity type, sole proprietorship, partnership, LLC, or corporation, date your business was formed, and this must be the official date though, the official date, and the industry and type of business you operate. In terms of a business documentation, so this is what I just spoke about, so you gotta really provide things based on your business type, so it depends on whether you are a sole proprietorship, LLC, LP, partnership, corporation, or what have you. So. Overall, one thing I want to say here is that if you to apply for a first citizen's business account, you can you can do things online, but it's just a lot better to go to a branch. Go to a branch, have a conversation with the rep, sit down, bring all your paperwork, and have them process everything for you at the branch. Open the business account with you at the branch. It's really better. It's uh, so you have the proper. You, they can categorize you into the right account right off the bat. You don't have to uh, like choose. You don't have to make a mistake and choose the wrong business account and then later on call first citizens to reverse whatever you did know it's just a lot better to start things right off the bat on a positive note on a proper note and it only happens if you take the time to go to a first citizens branch sit down with a rep have a conversation explain your needs explain your, your liquidity needs explain the industry you need the, the industry you're in so that they will, they will really help you first citizens has a wonderful customer service their customer service reps are really, really knowledgeable. They're really, uh, they're really uh, friendly. And if you go to a branch, also you are going to meet, you know, really professional personnel, knowledgeable personnel, and uh, reliable personnel. And they are there to help you, and they are willing to add value to your business. So avail yourself of their expertise. Avail yourself of their of their help. Avail yourself of uh, the offers they give you. The offers the bank gives you. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. Today's conversation, I was talking to you about how to open a first citizen's business account. So I, I spoke to you about the four types of business checking accounts that you have with first citizens. You have business banking, business banking one, business banking two, business banking three. 
and then I did a quick comparison so you have a you have a clear idea of what we're speaking about. I spoke to you about so digital banking for business at First Citizens. We have uh, we spoke about the paperwork you need and the approach. Thank you. God bless you. I'll speak to you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.